when we got word that we were going to do <coughs> Coachella and it was going to be two weekends, we just said, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's the biggest money gig of our lives. We're not going to run into weekend one of Coachella with our heads cut off. Uh, we're <laughs> actually going to try and enjoy the experience and be able to like spend a day at the festival and then have our day relaxed the next day when we perform and just enjoy the experience. We got to get your wristbands. So we got to go to so our I, I have to really get another get one. Sweat. Or yeah. A jacket, right? Well, you have on a jacket. Yeah, but it's if it gets into the 50s, it's going to be very cold. <laughs> Should we go to your room together? Yeah. You don't want to see my room. Yeah, it's good. We're LA natives. We grew up in LA, so Coachella is kind of a main staple for us. You know, it's mm -hmm. it, it's. It is the concert on the West Coast to go to, and now that we're actually playing Sunday on the main stage at like a great time slot, dusk, it's sort of, it's pretty incredible. Oh God. Wow. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. How do you make it go faster? I'm going super fast right now. You're giving us those? Yes. Really? There are? Each person. With games. Sweet. And to we keep? Get Practical. I don't know about this perk. I'm loving it. Well, this is going to like alleviate so much boredom and <laughs> on the bus. The thing about touring is that uh, you are literally, and when I say literally, I'm, I truly mean literally, not figuratively. <laughs> um, you're in a different city every 16 hours. So you might pull up to a city at noon, you get off the bus, kind of okay. orient yourself like where do I get a cup of coffee? <laughs> then you gotta pretty much go straight to sound check. Mm. You have sound check and then maybe you have time to like find a local place <laughs> to eat some good food. Mm. Uh, and then you play the show and then you pack up the gear and you get in the bus and you drive to the next city. So you're always a visitor. You're always transient and in these people's constant. And you're there in such a, a fast paced way and such a unique way where you literally might be in some weird part of town in an alleyway where the bus is parked where nobody goes except for at night to go see a rock show or something. Mm -hmm. So you see very unique or limited perspectives on cities sometimes and you don't have a lot of time to explore. It's a trip always being in motion. Yeah. After a while, like all the cities kind of start to blend together. You, you can't even connect to what city you're in. Yeah. You want to know what city you're in, you want to care what city you're in, but you're almost sort of like, all I know is that I have to like kill it tonight on stage for those kids that are coming to see us play and everything else kind of like falls to the wayside. So now we're going to go do an interview. Hi. Hoping for more mud. You know, because yeah. I was, you know, hoping people would have gotten down and dirty. Yeah. It was very simple. You know, actually wanting to be able to watch it and I have friends, you know, that came with me 